subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Hurricane Isaias is continuing to intensify as it moves over Great Inagua Island this morning. Currently at 21 degrees north, 73.2 degrees west, a Category 1 hurricane and likely to intensify further over the coming days. Um, so it's currently got winds of 80 miles an hour, pressure of 990 millibars, moving northwest at 17 miles per hour and is now a CDPS Stage 3, uh, which is potentially significant. Here is a closer look at the CDPS for Great Exuma tomorrow. Uh, where we expect the biggest impacts for the storm to be so far. Stage 3 with significant winds could be Category 2 by that point, uh, with rainfall amounts over many of the Bahamas as uh, perhaps 5 inches or so. Here's its current location and a quite large wind field still at this point, not quite as large as it used to be, but still fairly large, 180 nautical miles out towards the northeastern quadrant there. And it's currently 30 miles from Matthewtown on Great Inagua, 183 from Clarence Town on Long Island, 385 from the capital Nassau, 542 from Key Largo and 552 miles from Miami. Hurricane warning in effect for all of the Bahamas and a tropical storm watch for Florida. Currently at 80 mile an hour winds as you can see, uh, our satellite method Satid comes out with 76 at the moment. NOAA's satellite method is way down near uh, 60 miles per hour but National Hurricane Center going with 80 miles an hour is a good call. Here is the current forecast from them and you can see there the intensification likely reaching category 2 by tomorrow during Saturday there and that's uh, Saturday night into Sunday is when we expect it to make its closest approach to Florida. Now don't forget that the center of this storm can go anywhere within that cone so we can't rule out a landfall along the coast of Florida but it is looking more likely that we might see a landfall maybe in North Carolina or the Outer Banks. And then beyond there you could see further impacts up the northeast coast, that's on day 4 and 5. This is what the GFS model last said at its uh, 6 c um, update I believe this is. You can see the storm there moving through, it's rather small actually looking at its core there. Um, it's certainly taken, the, the island of Hispaniola has certainly taken some size from it, you can see it going off towards the open Atlantic the, towards the end there. So you can see the GFS, um, not, it's just about reaching the coast of Florida, but the bigger impacts would be in North Carolina. That's just one model, then it goes into the US Long Island and into the uh, northeastern states. So that's one scenario, it could still track further west though, and that means it would probably be weaker by the time it got up towards the northeast. Sea surface temperatures will certainly aid the storm. You can see how warm they are in Fahrenheit there, around 28, 29 degrees Celsius ahead of it, so certainly warm enough for sustained development. This is the wind forecast. You can see the yellows, now the oranges, that's category two status there. And then moving through the outer banks and the eastern part of North Carolina, um, and then weakening, turning post-tropical probably over Maine by the looks of things there. But again, that is only one model. Here's the others. National Hurricane Center's line in grey there, intensity forecast. HWRF quite low actually, which is interesting. HMOM wants a big peak at Category 4, I doubt that. Wind shear is going to be moderate to high over the next five days. It'll get even higher by the time we get to Day 4 and 5. Sea surface temperatures are looking good. You can see why the HWRF is weaker because it's literally hugging the coast all up the United States. So that's why it would be weaker, uh, but it could cause more impacts if that actually happened. So here's the latest satellite imagery. You can see how it's been developing over the last few hours. There's two distinct blobs associated with this storm. It's now got quite a bit going with it on the eastern side there, um, probably influenced by the land interaction, but you can still see quite clearly the central core which is now moving away from Hispaniola. It's over Great Inagua right now and it will continue on towards the northwest, probably towards Long Island and then towards the capital Nassau. That's all for now. We'll have more updates and live events on our channel throughout the day today. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.